typical. Oh, yeah, this is a pretty wild story. It's just courtesy of the Wall Street Journal. Do you remember ages? Well, remember a few months ago when Neymar announced that he was, or did he announce he was leaving? Whatever happened, something happened with Neymar with Nike in terms of um, his sponsorship where he basically ended or the partnership was ended. We didn't really get the details. We don't even know why he ended up leaving. But then soon after we heard that he had announced like a really big deal with Puma. And at first I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Why is the, um, Neymar going to Puma? But then, you know, the synergy with him kind of emulating Pele and beating Pele's international goal scoring record and all that malarkey. There were some links there, you know, in terms of what was going over there. But it just didn't make any sense why somebody as glitzy as a Neymar would want to go to a place like Puma. But then of course he went to Puma. He makes the boots instantly look amazing. I want to you know, purchase to myself because he's one of my favorite players but then now courtesy of the wall street news they've broken the news that allegedly the reason why neymar uh left nike was because of a sexual assault scandal right something happened untoward whilst he was at nike that they investigated and then that invest inevitably inevitably led to him departing nike and then signing on to uh, puma but I don't know why we're only learning about this now. It's pretty wild, isn't it, that they bury this. Like, you know, Neymar is that powerful and that uh, popular of an entity. Oh, not powerful. No, not popular. Yeah, that powerful of an entity in sports that they were able to bury a very um, serious sexual assault scandal or probe, allegedly, that he was basically at the heart of in order to protect him so they could protect the money and whatever and then allowed him to sign on to Puma with little to no fanfare. And now the story's been broken, like pretty crazy. So it says the fear, um, courtesy of Wall Street Journal. <coughs> Takes a good water, up there, me. Um, it says Nike and soccer superstar Neymar split, uh, split ways last year after the company started investigating an allegation by a Nike employee that the Brazilian athlete had sexually assaulted her, according to people familiar with the matter and documents reviewed by the Wall Street Journal. Wild. And I've never heard of this. Obviously, we heard of that one woman who accused Neymar of, you know, R-A-P-E. And allegedly, she obviously lied about that, I think. I think it was it Neymar or Christian Ronaldo? I think it was Neymar. Remember, there was a scandal with a girl at a club somewhere. And then she retracted the, the, the story. She retracted the allegation. But that's the only thing I've heard. But I never heard about this, right? This is a Nike employee. Absolutely insane. Um, in August 2020, Nike didn't publicly give a reason for the early end to its endorsement deal with one of the world's most recognizable athletes. Nike's marketing contract with Neymar had another eight years remaining, of course, right? Because they always sign, they always lock down athletes to really long term bumper deals. Obviously, for the athlete, it's great. It looks you in. But again, if you're able to kind of generate a huge amount of income for Nike, they're just going to keep topping it up again and again and again, right? For instance, like Cristiano Ronaldo, I couldn't see him departing or leaving Nike in any way, shape or form because his brand is intrinsically tied to Nike. If he does leave Nike, it'll be for an insane bag, isn't it? Because you'd think that, you know, they're not, they're not going to want to want to have Christian Ronaldo walk away and you know walk into another sports brand um, offices and sign a deal with them because they know automatically he's bringing all the sales that he, he kind of had at Nike directly to that brand so they don't want that whatsoever so w when they let people like this go there's definitely it must be something big it's not just you know some s small inconvenience that they let them go it's definitely something that you know they thought okay if we if we keep this guy and this news come out this is going to be more detrimental than if we let him go it continues the Nike employee had told friends as well as Nike colleagues in 2016 that Neymar in 2016 and he only got let go in 2020 Jesus Christ <laughs> honestly when you're rich and famous man you can get away with the most heinous of things isn't it honestly you can and it's even worse for professional footballers because they're basically like adult babies, especially people like Neymar, who I love. But he's basically been a child prodigy since he was like basically a kid, right? A, a, a national, a, a worldwide phenom since the age of what, 16, 17, when he burst onto the scene at Sao Paulo? Like, pfft. was it Sao Paulo or Santos? with a white and black kit. Was it Santos? I forgot which one it was. But regardless of whatever team he played in Brazil, he was really young with a Mohican, skipping through defenders, getting absolutely clouded all over the place on those long, you know, on those pitches with long grass. 2016. This is wild. Um, she told, uh, she told um, Nike College 2016 that Neymar tried to force her to perform oral sex in a hotel room, oh my God, while in New York City where he was, she was helping to coordinate events and logistics with Neymar and his entourage, according to people, um, including former and current Nike employees and documents. That is terrible. Again, just doing your job. Sometimes I think of these people, I, I wonder what, maybe, maybe it's just a kink. Maybe it's the fact that you've done everything. So you want to keep pushing yourself in terms of your scratching your sexual desires, allegedly, I would assume. And who knows if this is true? Don't, don't sue me. 
But I've always wondered why people do this in position like someone in the name of position. Why would you do this? You have access to whatever female you want and then you try to then come on to somebody who's just working, doing a job, right? Maybe they don't even give a F about you as a sportsman. They just want to do a good job and continue to pay the bills and keep roof over their head, right? They're pursuing their passion. They're working for one of the coolest brands in the world. They've basically got the dream job. They're doing what they love. They're traveling around the world. Why would you why would you do that to somebody that's going to permanently scar them it's probably going to lead to them having to leave especially if somebody luckily she was able to put the thing through and i guess it was successful whatever it may be but sometimes if you work in some companies and you say allege you know accuse somebody of something untoward and they happen to be a big client of the company you're working in some companies will tell you the victim to go and skedazzle you'll be the one that will get ostracized you'll be the one that will get let go you'll be the one that'll be pressurized into maybe handing in your resignation because that person that client's money is where worth more to them than the well-being of their own employee so just that one action of first and you know sexual lust that that guy has who has access to every girl he wants i'm sure neymar's dms are insane is going to lead to somebody eventually losing their livelihood damaging you know the prospects of their immediate family and maybe damaging and tarnishing their reputation in the jobs market forever right it's just so unnecessary and so unfair that's the thing i think about it. it's just really really unfair 2016 and it only comes to light now in 2021 i don't know why it's come to light by the way but jesus christos um the the, the in new york hotel room she was helping coordinate the, the, the um neymar denies the allegation his spokesman said neymar jr will vir, 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 vigorously defend himself against these baseless attacks in case in in case any claim is presented which do, did which did not happen so far Oh, let's go that again. Neymar will v vigorously defend himself against his basic attack attacks in any case. Oh my God, why can't I speak today? Neymar Jr. will vigorously defend himself <laughs> against these baseless attacks in case any claim is presented, which did not happen so far, she said in a statement. She said Nike and Neymar split for commercial reason. Hmm. That's a very carefully worded statement. Nothing's been alleged. But you know what I mean? It's a very, it's a very, very curious statement. That very, very professional. A Nike employee filed a complaint in 2018 and described the incident in the company's head of human resources and general counsel, according to people in the documents. Nike hired lawyers at Cooley LLP to conduct an investigation, starting in 2019, and decided to stop featuring Neymar marketing and made the probe, according to people and documents. So they did, so they did the same thing that did happened to um, ASAP Bari, right, Young Lord, where he got accused of what he got accused of. Well, that video came out of him doing what he did in the hotel room and then nike i guess behind the scenes was still sort of like helping him out with stuff but public facing wise they put out that statement they ended the relationship and all that malarkey right that's kind of what they did in a similar sort of way uh, but obviously with neymar's you know profile it's a lot bigger of a deal in terms of marketing material and that sort of malarkey um so that so i guess that means he doesn't probably feature in any of the paris Saint Germain jordan collaboration stuff i'm assuming right I assume. Um, Nike ended this relationship with Neymar 2020 after the athlete wouldn't cooperate with the Cooley investigation. Wow. Some of the people said. They said the probe wasn't completed when the business relationship ended. Nike ended this relationship with the athlete because he refused to cooperate in good faith investigation of a credible allegation of wrongdoing by the employee, said Hillary Crane, Nike's general counsel, in the response to the question from the journal. Miss um, Crane said Nike did previously discuss, didn't previously discuss the matter publicly because no single set of facts emerged that would enable us to speak substantially on the matter it would be imper it would be inappropriate for nike to make an accessor uh, accusatory statement without being uh, able to provide a support support in facts so they're hiding behind the idea that they couldn't prove without any you know reason of a doubt that it did happen but because there was enough smoke without fire and then neymar didn't want to cooperate he decided to walk without getting fired so that the story wouldn't come out, right? There was a weird little game of chess there because Nike couldn't come out and accuse him or anything because if they did, it would mean that they were complicit in keeping the story sort of like away from the press since 2018. And then they also couldn't come out and accuse him because they didn't have the evidence to accuse him with or they weren't willing to present it to the public. And then Neymar also didn't want to publicly address it because if he did, it would have put more eyes to the situation. Madness, isn't it? Neymar spokeswoman, 
said the two sides have been in discussion since 2019. It's very strange, a case that was supposed to be happening in 2016 with allegations by a Nike employee came to light only at the moment, which is true. Representative from Neymar disputed the woman's account during the Cooley probe, but the athlete himself refused to be interviewed by Nike's investigators, some people said. Now, the only reason why I would say this probably sounds true is because I never heard of this story. Because usually you'd imagine when somebody is involved in a, some situation like this and they can't get any justice through the, you know, legal, professional ways, there was some times leak the story to like other outlets or like to you know bloggers or whatever they may be or commentators whatever right and the story would come out in some way shape or form right so to kind of put the pressure on those companies in that way but i've heard absolutely nothing this is the first time i've ever ever hearing of this story so it leads me to believe that this was this did actually happen the person involved is just a regular because i think people don't realize too when this happens to people especially women in this industry in industries such as marketing and entertainment with malarkey they're just regular people working the job some of them don't want to be in front of camera. Some of them don't want to be a known figure or like a public figure, right? They just want to keep, they just want to do their amazing cushy job, you know, yeah, uh, you know, eat lunch on a company card, be able to, you know, give their friends a couple of shoes here and there, get good discounts in the Nike store, all that good stuff that happens working in the company at Nike without all the attention of being an Instagram influencer, right? It's a perfect job basically to have. You get paid a monthly wage, to, you know, you don't have to upload crazy pictures of yourself standing in the middle of the road with a colour coordinated outfit. Um, but you also get the luxury of having all the perks associated with it. So the fact that this person didn't come out and, you know, try to use an opportunity to boost their profile or to segue into other business opportunities or to allow themselves with some sort of activism um cause out there or something whatever leads me to believe that this has happened to a regular professional working woman who just doing their job got put in a really awkward and you know frightening and probably um intimidating situation and i'd guess maybe only plus up the courage to say something in 2018 because it's neymar it's a flipping global force you're not going to come out immediately and say one of nike's top 10 clients is saying something until this towards just off the bat you're going to definitely give it some time and then when she did give it time nothing changed and then now eventually the story is coming out so it makes complete sense a timeline for me in my opinion i don't know if it's true or alleged but who knows um an attorney for nike employee did not respond to request a comment neymar de silva santos 29 years old signed with nike at the age of 13 before he became a professional player in brazil madness and then a star in europe he became the most expensive player in the history of soccer where paris Saint-Germain paid the icy barcelona a protracted contract fee of 260 million from in 2017 the flashy goal scorer is the leader of the brazilian national team and recently signed a contract to century with psg a top french football club throughout 2025 neymar was the face of nike brand in south america with his signature shoes and apparel as you can see there on the thing um and it was among the highest paid nike athletes neymar will no longer be a nike player as of the 31st of 20 uh, the 31st of um, august 2020 next person said about two weeks later december 12th puma se announced they had an endorsement deal with uh, neymar uh, welcome to the fam neymar the king is back so obviously puma knew but they just said you know what we're willing to take the risk there's too much money involved in this one a spokesperson for puma declined to comment of course they did <laughs> they just dropped a bag on him they can't be going out there saying anything public about this no 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 no. you got to pretend it didn't happen they might discuss his move to puma in a message last september he said i grew up watching videos of the great football legends as pele croif and mateus eusebio and maradona he said i wish to bring back the legacy that those athletes created on the pitch um they each played in puma and each of these created their image created their magic is the king created magic in the king okay the puma king neymar was more than um to be fair when you were those black and white puma kings the first time he was announced for psg <sighs> disgusting they looked absolutely fire do you know what I mean? don't don't get me wrong there's one thing neymar can do for you he'll make you buy the boots he's wearing and you'll make you want to get the haircut he's wearing that's one thing he definitely can do. But this other stuff is mad. Neymar has more than 150 million followers on Instagram. Jesus. Along with Puma, he has a marketing partnership with Red Bull, Qatar Airlines, Perk Stars. Um, according to his website, in recent months, Neymar unveiled marketing deals with the brand Superdry, Epic Games, uh, maker of the popular Fortnite game. So I, I hate when they put these things in the articles. It feels like they're kind of snitching. They're hoping that people read it and get outraged and be like, oh my God, I can't believe this happened. And then they start tagging all the brands on Twitter. It feels like to me, it's always a little bit underhand that's a clever kind of like well i didn't do nothing right it's sort of like you know you throw a stone but you hide your hands it wasn't me it wasn't me i didn't do nothing 
Ugh. Neymar traveled to New York City in late May and early June 2016 on a Nike publicity campaign where he visited the city field and met with basketball great Michael Jordan to drum up excitement for a shoe collaboration between Nike Jordan and the soccer star. The woman, a long-time Nike employee who's still employed at Nike, which is good, good to hear, was working with other Nike employees to coordinate the logistics of Neymar and his entourage for the Jordan event in Manhattan. The people said the group celebrated the event with the up and down nightclub. The people said after midnight um, in the early hours of June the 2nd, hotel staff asked a woman along with other Nike employees to help Neymar who appeared to be intoxicated into his room at the hotel. The woman told friends and Nike colleagues that the night in subsequent days she told people that when she was briefly left alone in the room with Neymar he took off his underwear. Oh my god! She said Neymar tried to block her from leaving the room and then chased her down the hotel hallway while he was still undressed. Oh my god. Just imagine what these footballers get up to behind clothes. You always, you, you can guess which one's a bit loose but imagine Neymar has been signed to Nike since he was 13. Basically, he's been a celebrity, a heartthrob since he was 13 years old. He must be a terror. And every club he's been at so far, maybe with the exception of Barcelona, he's got exactly what he wanted, right? Barcelona he basically left because he felt as if like he couldn't be Neymar the brand under Messi, right? He kind of had to go and create his own legacy at PSG, which he kind of has done. But of course, you know, the, the final chip, the winning of the Champions League has sort of evaded him. Maybe he can do that with his, you know, with his new contract extension he's got at the moment. But, you always got the feeling that this guy was a bit of a brat, innit, right? Brilliant footballer, but definitely a bit of a brat. So just imagine what he must be like behind the scenes. Imagine what people at Nike and during shoot days must actually think of him. Like He must be that kind of person where if you went to work and do some branding deals with a company and you sat down in the hair and makeup place and you spoke to some of the guys and girls who were behind the scenes and said, oh, who's the person that's a nightmare? behind the scenes they'll definitely i would imagine say someone like neymar for sure i would imagine so i don't know i've not seen him i don't know anything about the guy but i would imagine if you ask him behind the scenes a personality like neymar would definitely be at the top of the list for sure um she told these people that when she was briefly at the london the, the employees shared the incident with several friends and family members and nike employees that night and in the following days and weeks the people said the employee made a complaint 2018 when other nike women stepping forward to share experience of harassment and assault see there we go because if someone powerful makes complete sense 2016 2018 makes sense i thought it was 2016 then they got flipping announced in 2020 but no it happened in 2016 she stayed stoned because obviously it's flipping name on you don't want to ruin your career which is probably a smart thing to do especially at that time 2016 socially we weren't really in the space i guess to maybe accept those allegations or it would nothing would have happened anyway she would have come out she would have only ruined her own career which is definitely not worth it um and then 2018 off the back of everybody else kind of coming out with their story which is probably the reason why people coming out and sharing their news is probably a good thing she didn't decide to also come out and say it um da -da -da. She, and she the employee made a complaint 2018 when other women at Nike were stepping forward to share experiences of harassment and discrimination as part of a survey about the treatment of women at the company, according to the people and documents. At the time, the employee shared details about the alleged incidents with Monique Matheson, the head of Nike Human Resources Department. Human Resources people are so awful, barely useless. Miss Crane, Nike Council, and according to the people of the document, Neymar continued to appear in marketing material the following year. Around that time, the Women's World Cup in, uh, in France, Neymar appeared in 2019 commercial about female athletes and their dreams. <laughs> you couldn't you could make this up, could you? You couldn't make this up, man. Also, in June 2019, another woman accused Neymar of rape at a Paris hotel a month earlier. Neymar said the encounter with a woman, a Brazilian, was consensual and she accused him of extorting him. The Brazilian authorities dropped the investigation of Neymar, citing lack of evidence. What was the one where, wasn't there one where someone accused him of RAAP and supposedly text messages came out where it basically proved it to be incorrect? Did it Neymar put out? Am I mistaken? Remember that? Um, authorities in Brazil later charged the model with slander and extortion and produced um, procedural fraud. The slander and extortion charges were dismissed in 2019 and she was acquitted of the fraud case in 2020. A spokeswoman for the model said she stands by her original account. Wow. Okay. She got she got sued for it, went to court, the cases got dropped and she still stands by her story. So maybe that, that accusation was true who knows in june 2019 after the brazilian model made her public allegation the nike employee approached miss crane and mr matheson to ask the status of the complaint in 2019 she followed it up right uh, hr are useless at these big corporations pretty much useless hr in front of house are probably one of the most useless occupations that exist in most big corporations they just basically get away with just doing absolutely nothing and they still keep their job like enough no performance you know evaluations no real kpis nothing miss crane matheson to us to say this with the complaint 
She made about an email a year earlier, according to the people in the documents. Nike executive told the employee they hadn't taken any action because they had been under an impression she didn't want them to. Oh my God. <laughs> Ms. Crane said that the, that when the employee first relayed the allegation to Nike leadership in 2018, she did so on the condition of confidentiality. Just because she want, I want to keep my name out of the papers doesn't mean I don't want you to go forward with it, you absolute tosses. As her employer, we had a responsibility to respect her privacy and did not believe it was appropriate to share that information with law enforcement or third party without the employees. So why didn't you ask her? So basically, they didn't ask and they didn't tell. Like she, she, she came forward. She comes through. With, she comes forward with the allegation. They, she says to protect my privacy. They said, okay, then. They don't want to follow it up or anything, so they don't ask her any follow-up questions. They just basically file it and pull it under the folder and hope she forgets about it. Mamma mia. In 2019, when the employee later expressed... And again, this is a woman too. She's going to a woman in HR about a sexual misconduct allegation against somebody really powerful, a powerful dude. And then they do nothing about it. Which is why I always say the actual main enemy of women is other women. Because that woman just wants to keep her job too. She doesn't want to you know, uh, push this forward, like funnel it through the levels of kind of whatever it may be, s severity, because a, a light would then get shone on her too. So she wants to just basically, you know, file it on, in, in the bottom drawer and hope that girl forgets about it. Maybe give them a bonus to kind of sweeten the deal. I would imagine, allegedly, I don't know, don't sue me. It continues um, from the very beginning. We have treated employee allegations of experience with seriousness. In 2019, Nike ramped up the investigation into 2016. So of course, because I guess that's when the whole Harvey Weinstein and Me Too thing was happening. Oh, scumbags and lawyers from Cooley conducted interviews with witnesses including no maybe that's part of the allegations that are happening in Nike with the unsafe and workplaces and not treating uh, women fairly the work remember there's a thing about that right with the maternal leave and all that stuff including Nike employ so it continues here in 2019 um like it the investigation into 2016 an incident and lawyers from Cooley conducted interviews with witnesses, including Nike employees and the people that said, and the documents show Nike helped the employee retain counsel and Nike agreed to pay her legal fees. Of course, at least you can do it. The people said in the documents show Cooley's lawyer, Amanda Main said, made, uh, said her firm conducted an extensive and thorough investigation, both within the company and through external sources. Neymar's spokeswoman said similar to the sexual allegations against him in 2019 allegations, which prison uh, found innocent these allegations are false jesus christ name my man what are you doing in meetings with nike executive the woman requested that nike tell the public that namers behavior didn't align with the values start enforcing morality clauses in athletes contracts and adopt a code of conduct so there's no morality clause that makes sense isn't it it makes sense isn't it because look at those uh, look at all those american footballers that beat up their wives and stuff right they don't necessarily lose their brand deal straight away they probably get fired and suspended from the league or the, from the nfl before they get any brand endorsement gets taken away from them like the morality morality does not exist in sports um uh, uh franchises or you know companies and endorsements it doesn't exist it's no such thing uh, uh in meetings the dirt code of contact in august 20 in august the 30th nike confirmed that neymar was no longer with the brand so they didn't actually confirm it. they put that clause in they just confirmed he's no longer with the brand nike continues to be the jersey sponsor of both neymar's clubs um meaning it's whoosh it still appears on uniforms neymar wears and his number 10 writes kadeja saftar at the wall street journal raw dead man raw dead i wonder if this is the neymar cancellation i don't know what's going on but this is wild bruv but he must be powerful as hell. He must generate some money if he's able to, you know, keep the lid on a su super serious sexual assault allegation like this. It's 2016, out of the news. Like, a even Nike didn't want to press forward with it. Mad, isn't it? Especially when you consider how woke they are, right? They didn't want to press with it. They were like, no, nah, we don't want that name on smoke. It's like, Jesus Christ, man. He must be powerful. Oh, what can you do in it? Hopefully she gets um, the help and support that she needs, man, because that's not what you want to hear in it. That's definitely not what you want to hear.